so I've got a bed here with some determinant tomatoes in it. I would say that these are semi-determinant, so they're not quite the indeterminate ones that grow really tall. They're not quite a determinant one like these cherry tomatoes. So these have lots of suckers on them, lots of leaves, lots of tomatoes forming. I'm going to prune them just lightly, and I'm going to prune them with a different method than I would use for pruning the indeterminate tomatoes in the greenhouse. What I want to do is I want to increase the airflow through this. Tomatoes are really susceptible to fungal diseases. If you can keep the air flowing through them, then it keeps the humidity and the fungal diseases from uh, taking hold too much. So this is going to give also the tomatoes that are green lots of uh, access to sunlight, and that's going to let them ripen up faster. Really what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out some leaves. That's really it. I'm not going to worry about runners. I'm not going to worry about too much fruit set. And I'm especially going to start by taking out leaves at the bottom of the plant. And that's also going to make it easier for watering and for weeding. You can see these are so bushy that it's hard to even really tell what's going on. You can see on this plant, even just doing this much, just like really changed the look, uh, changed the airflow. And the tomatoes have lots of leaves at this point that's going to allow them to photosynthesize. When they're smaller, you want to leave quite a lot of leaves because you want to make sure there's uh, enough energy there in the plant to produce the fruit, but um, at this point they're doing awesome. They're growing vigorously. You can see this really nice cluster of dark green tomatoes right now. These are Scotia variety. Some people actually pick the green tomatoes of Scotias and they use them to make a, a maritime favorite, which is uh, green tomato chow. So I took off quite a bit of foliage and you can see it's opened up quite nicely in here. There's a couple of little tomatoes that are growing in the understory and those were actually ones that um, this tomato had some damage and so we clipped the top off of it and we just stuck the top right in the ground. Tomatoes root really easily from their stems so these ones totally uh, did it. I don't know how well they'll do compared to the other ones but whatever it's worth a try. This opens up the airflow in here Let's us get a look at the fruit, makes it easier to harvest and also easier to weed and water on the ground. And you can see I took out quite a bit of leaves. But one thing to notice is if there's any fungal disease at all, uh, any like spotting that's orange or black or any dieback, then you want to take those and you want to throw them out and not put them in your compost and not leave them in your garden because that might be the sign of a fungal or bacterial infection and you want to get that out of the garden. These ones are nice and green and lush and so we can leave those around.